In the following short animation, we will be talking about the naturalistic observation method, an important method in psychology. This method may seem familiar to you because a less formal version of this method is the stuff of nature documentaries and films. Most of the time that you are watching a nature film, you are watching a variation of the naturalistic observation method. You see, naturalistic observation is the secret observation of animals, and, as we will talk later, humans, in their natural environments. So every time you are watching a nature show in which the narrator is watching wildlife secretly in nature, like at a watering hole, in the jungle, ocean, or savanna, this is an example of naturalistic observation. Now, psychologists can use a similar method to watch humans surreptitiously in their natural environments. For example, to see how people act in crowds, as at a baseball game, or in church, or during a street demonstration. Remember that like all research methods, naturalistic observations have both strengths and weaknesses or limitations. For example, its greatest strength is that it allows researchers to look at what they are most interested in, real behavior in the real world. However, at the same time, at least with regards to humans, there are of course important limitations with respect to this method. First of all, in particular, we must respect people's privacy. Psychologists can't go creeping through people's backyards engaging in naturalistic observation. <laughs> but, importantly, must conduct their observations only in public. A second limitation is that naturalistic observations are good at telling us what people are doing, but not why they are doing these things. For example, around the world, people speak to babies in very similar ways. But, naturalistic observation is not very good at telling us why people speak to babies this way. <laughs> 